The whole point of upgrading your car stereo is to get higher sound quality out of your system. Of course, aesthetics factor in, a user-friendly interface definitely, maybe you want Bluetooth or need an aux input, but in the end, it's the audio performance that takes everything to a new level. And Pioneer's DEH 80PRS CD receiver goes well beyond most receivers with the quality of its internal components and architecture to create one of the best car experience they offer. This is a long overdue video, so please enjoy. The 80PRS is a singled-in application with a fully detachable faceplate, which reveals not only a disc slot, but also an SD card slot. Sneaky sneaky. The built-in Bluetooth allows hands-free calling plus wireless music streaming. Connecting to one of the two rear USB ports enables a charge as well as gives you control over your iPhone's music libraries and apps. Get app control over Pandora and other music apps like Spotify. The ADPRS is not compatible with Android devices via USB, only through Bluetooth, but you can still get a charge. The layout is really clean and the lever button makes navigation through the menus unique. The ADPRS features variable color and two-zone illumination, so you can make the key and display different colors, the same color or scan both. You can also choose from a variety of wallpapers, some active and some stagnant. Okay, let's get to the juicy stuff. Why does this radio sound so amazing? Because this radio is highly tunable, starting with the fader and balance adjustments, which provide ideal listening environment for all the occupied seats. The left and right independent 16 band equalizers offer fine tuning adjustments at two thirds octave steps, tailoring the frequency curves to generate a flat response without an external EQ. There are also several preset EQs like rock, pop, and super bass. Use the included CD-MC20 microphone to perform auto EQ. Just plug it into the front auxiliary input, clip the mic to the driver's headrest, start auto EQ, close the door and let it work its magic. Obviously auto EQ isn't perfect, but it does a damn good job. Time alignment precisely adjusts each speaker output timing according to its distance from the listening position. Again, using the CDMC20 microphone, auto time alignment automatically estimates the delay from each speaker to the driver's position and adjusts speaker sound output timing. Basically, it tailors specific musical characteristics according to preference. Uses a microphone to monitor and analyze acoustics, then automatically fine tunes all frequencies frequency bandwidths and rear speaker digital parametric equalization in 6 minutes and 30 seconds. There is an active three-way crossover network for high, mids, and lows. First, the DSP switch needs to be put into network mode. The first setting selects the filter. The second setting selects the level as well as changes the crossover frequencies. The third setting adjusts the slope all the way up to 36 decibels. The heart is powered by three Bird Brown digital analog converters, one each for the high, mid, and low frequency ranges, providing exceptional linear sound reproduction with wide dynamic range and faithful reproduction of the original source. Pioneer also put in automatic sound levelizer, which compensates for road noise in the car. You set the sensitivity based on wind noise and road noise, it will automatically raise or lower volume to keep it steady while driving. Next up is Advanced Sound Retriever, which can restore your MP3 and WMA files to near CD quality. There's even a loudness sound effect. To top it off, Pioneer used exceptional build quality. Utilizing a four layer copper foil board with components mounted to both sides of the board allows for a circuit board with a much smaller footprint. Pioneer's 28-bit binary floating point DSP, along with the use of advanced programming technology, allows for highly precise sound processing and tuning without degrading the source's digital signal. The radio is compatible with playback of MP3, WMA, iTunes AAC, and WAV, but surprisingly not FLAC files. The rear connections include two rear USB ports, RCA audio inputs, wiring harness, Bluetooth microphone, steering wheel control for the ASWC1 interface sold separately up top, three sets of five volt preamp outputs for front, rear, or subwoofer, or network mode high, mids, and lows, and radio antenna. The radio comes with a USB extension, wiring harness, Bluetooth microphone, auto EQ microphone, wireless remote control, and auxiliary input cable. This thing is a beast, but there are just a few downsides. No Android compatibility except Bluetooth. I could care less personally, but there are a lot of you out there that have Android devices. No flag file support, probably because it dropped in 2013 and was designed in 2011. And the anti-dust design still managed to get a little dust on it. That's it on the Pioneer DEH 80 PRS. Be sure to check out qualitymobilevideo.com for all of your car audio and video gear. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet click that like button join the conversation below and turn on your video notifications thanks for watching